We're here at a gastronomic extravaganza. Give us a little overview of what's going on here today. Today is our largest event. It's called the Big Eat Samplings at the Marketplace. And so there are approximately 100 different vendors here, and the attendees will come in, they get handed a, a wine glass when they walk through the doors, and then they just walk around and sample as many things as they want to try. Now this event today has sold out already. Uh, why is it so popular, do you think? It's been getting more and more popular every year. I think the, the buzz is around that people leave this event and they're like, that was amazing, we're so full. And so they know that they have to quickly get tickets before it sells out. And what's the range of vendors do you have here? What kind of food do we have and drink? The drinks are food, uh, wine, beer, spirits, local, national. It's a wide variety. Um, in addition to the, it's the food, it's a lot, it's all local. Everything's local, it, restaurants, it could be a chocolatier, it could be a local pizza making company, or a popcorn company, it, or a caterer. It's the whole gamut. And you have a lot of people coming here today, but this is a four day event. How many visitors do you get over the four days? We have about a total of 4,000 people that will walk through the doors of all the events. And do they come just from Portland or the main area, or do they come from other places as well? They come from all over. The Convention and Visitors Bureau works to promote tourism for the area, so we're really excited that we have 34 states represented in four countries. A lot of cities hold events like this. What do you think makes Portland stand out? It's the local. I really think that it's, it's our, our brand is authentic by nature, and I think that's what really attracts people. It's authentic, it's local, and that's what people want. Mike, tell us a little bit about your unusual jam. Uh, about three years ago, um, I decided to go on a weight loss journey. I weighed 406 pounds. I decided I needed to lose weight. I was a diabetic, um, a lot of health problems. Uh, one year, I lost 150 pounds strictly by diet and exercise. Um, my wife saw that I was going without sweets, which is one of my favorite things, as everybody does. Um, she decided to come up with uh, a product that I could eat and not worry about uh, my diabetes and honey seemed to be my go-to sweetener and basically this is how Naturally Jammin was born. So the only sweetener used in your jams are, is, is honey? Uh, our jams uh, are 100% all natural sweetened with only main honey, uh, excuse me, sweetened with only pure honey. And they don't taste like honey, they taste like different flavors, right? They taste very much like the fruit that you would expect. Um, and then the honey is on the back end, it finishes very nicely. And you're from Bloomington, but you came down to Portland. Do you feel it's important for your marketing to do that? Very important, sir. And if people want more information about your product, what's the website? It's www.naturallyjammin.com. Well, Portland has, over the years, has been developing a, re a, a, a reputation as a foodie destination, and you've started to market that. Uh, why did you, what was the tipping point to decide to do that? It's been getting a lot of press, actually, and probably the biggest tipping point was when Bon Appetit magazine called us the foodiest small town in America back in 2009. And we, it had been happening, but all of a sudden it got national press. And we looked around as locals, you know, sometimes you take for granted what you have, and we're like, well, we really do. And it's been a key element in our marketing, and people love this town for food. Portland has a lot to offer, so you think the weight of the visitor's heart is through their stomach? Oh, for sure. <laughs> the lobster. The visitors love the lobster. Let's talk about the Convention and Visitors Bureau overall. Just describe the work that you do, who you partner with, that sort of thing. We're a, a Convention and Visitors Bureau is essentially a destination marketing organization. There's Convention and Visitors Bureaus all over the nation. Most of them actually are funded by a portion of meals and lodging taxes. And for Greater Portland, we don't have that in Maine. So we're a membership-based organization. And so we are incredibly grateful and loyal to our members. We pool all of our resources together and go out and market this fabulous destination to visitors, international visitors, the motor coach market, cruise ship market, meetings, events, sports, destination weddings. We do a lot of marketing with our membership dollars. And in addition to helping the businesses, you also give back to the community. For example, you provide scholarships and that sort of thing. Talk about that for a bit. Several years now, we've been doing um, SMCC 
culinary scholarships as part of Harvest on the Harbor. They come, they help us, they have an amazing experience that they probably wouldn't get elsewhere, and we help provide them a thank you by supporting them. This year we've partnered with the Good Shepherd Food Bank, and that's been a great partnership. We, we worked with their summer meals program for the kids. Many times kids are subsidized during the school year, and when summer comes around, it's a really scary time for us. And we felt that that partnered really well with us because tourism is really big in the summer. And so everything is happy and, and lively in the summertime, but then for some kids, it's a really scary time. If people want more information about the work that you do, where can they get, go to get more information? For the Convention and Visitors Bureau, it's visitportland.com. And for Harvest on the Harbor, it's harvestontheharbor.com.